Welcome to the windiest, coldest and driest continent on Earth. Antarctica is a unique and special place. The wildlife is so abundant and untouched by humankind. But can you hear this? The environment is slowly melting away. Come with me to Rothera, a British research station. Here, British Antarctic Survey has been collecting information about the ocean since 1997. We go out sampling on a weekly basis and take physical measurements of the water, such as temperature, salinity and how much light gets to the plankton. In order to see how much plankton is in the bay, we take water samples. Back in the lab, we filter the water for the phytoplankton. They are tiny little organisms, similar to plants. They photosynthesize and they grow. So you might not be too surprised that in the summer, when it is sunny, they grow and the water turns green and murky. During the winter, there is not enough light for phytoplankton to grow. The water is clear, like in the tropics, but my freezing cold hands quickly remind me of where we are. We usually see this nice seasonal pattern. However, recently, there were a couple of years where the phytoplankton did not grow as much in the summer as they used to. There are different types of sea ice. The sea can be open to the elements. When the weather gets colder, so-called grease and pancake ice starts forming until it gets thick and solid enough to walk on. Some of it can be blown away, leaving part of the bay uncovered. So, what happens if the water is open to the wind? On the left, we have water covered with ice and it is protected from the wind. On the right, the water is not protected. The wind is mixing the water and the plankton. When the summer comes around, they are not in the right place. Have you ever tried walking straight after doing lots of somersaults down the hill? Phytoplankton have lots of important roles. They take up some of the CO2 that we keep putting into the atmosphere. And they are the basis of the food web. Critters such as these krill need phytoplankton for food. Krill travel all the way up from the deep. Imagine making this long journey and then your favorite restaurant is out of food. In turn, many other animals, like in these pictures, depend on krill being well fed. So you see, the rise in temperature due to climate change we hear so often about is just the tip of the iceberg. Thank you very much for listening. Please share and ask away any questions you have in the comment section below.